It's out of order. Yes, I can read the sign. I'm just pondering the implications. I think it implies that the elevator doesn't work. Again, I can read the sign. But the sign and the tape are covered with a layer of dust, which indicates that the elevator has been non-functional for a significant amount of time, which suggests either a remarkable passivity among the, I assume, 24 to 36 residents of this building based on the number of mailboxes and given typical urban population density, or a shared delusion of functionality. You must be Leonard's mother. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I must be, but yes. Uh, I'm Penny. I'm his neighbor. Oh, Dr. Beverly Hofstadter. Oh, nice to meet you. Oh, you're a handshaker. Interesting. <laughs> uh, why don't you come with me? I'll walk you to the apartment. Oh, all right. Would you like to exchange pleasantries on the way? <laughs> yeah, sure, I guess. All right, you start. <laughs> okay, you know, I've always been curious. What was Leonard like when he was little? Oh, I think you mean young. He's always been little. <laughs> Right, okay, what was he like when he was young? You'll have to be more specific. Oh. Uh, okay, like five or six. Five. Oh, well, at that age, he was well enmeshed in what Freud would call the phallic stage of psychosexual development. An outmoded theory, of course, but the boy did spend most of his waking hours with a tight grasp on his penis. <laughs> Leonard mentioned you were a psychiatrist. Well, that is one of my degrees. My primary field is neuroscience. Oh. Well, I'm an actress. <laughs> why? <laughs> what, what do you mean, why? Well, there are studies that suggest that many who go into the performing arts suffer from an external locus of identity. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what that means. Well, it means you value yourself only as others value you, which is often the result of unmet childhood emotional needs. Oh, well, I had a wonderful childhood. Tell me about it. I know my dad wanted a boy. And then I'm assuming you entered adolescence. Uh -huh. He called me slugger until I got my first training bra, and then he just stopped playing catch with me. I wasn't slugger anymore. Your mother's here. If you want to have intercourse with that girl, find out what kind of cologne her father wore. Good to see you, mother. 